Hello, beautiful people, and welcome back to the day before. Today, we are going to do a flip through and review of the Old Farmer's Almanac 2025 Planner, and I am so excited. Filled with fun facts, lore, and more. Let me grab my handy dandy ruler so we can do measurements. It is 10 and 1 quarter inches long. Okay. And then it is 7 and three-fourths inches wide, and that is with the wire bound. Without the wire, it is seven and one-fourth inches wide. My camera battery is blinking, so we may do part of this now and part of this later, but let's get started with the flip through. I do love the cover. And when you open it up, it has a picture of the Old Farmer's Almanac 2025 and a quote, Begin the new year square with every man, Robert B. Thomas, founder of the Old Farmer's Almanac. So apparently he was born in 1766 and he passed in 1846. So that is good information to have. Here is the page where you will write in your name, address, phone number, and stuff like that. Astronomical events are given in Eastern Time. And, you know, publishing information. So, if you flip over, you have 2025 holidays and a full 2025 calendar. We have the January calendar, and I like the design up here. It's very pretty, and of course, you know, it matches the cover of the planner. So it looks like January 13th is the full wolf moon, and it has some holidays here. However, it says for more holidays, see the weekly pages that follow. So cool. No winter lasts forever. No spring skips its turn. Oh, that's cute. Ah, it takes about two months to create a new habit. Start now. That is a great thing to put for the beginning of the year. So, here we have the new moon on December 30th, which starts our weeklies. What do sheep sing on birthdays? Happy birthday to you. <laughs> that's cute. You would like to see it. <laughs> All right. So, this is January, and you have a little reminders thing. I also like that it goes from Monday through Thursday, and then all the weekend days are here, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Because I keep my planners like this on my desk, so I can see what's going on during the week, and then what's going on during the weekend. So that's my favorite format for planners. Uh, and also the spiral bound. For that reason. Very cool. I really like in this calendar just, oh look, make snow ice cream. Put several cups of clean white snow into a cold bowl. Add a little sugar and a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Mix together and enjoy. Oh, that sounds so good. <laughs> That's a great idea. That's what I love about this one. So here's February monthly. Don't allow small problems to become big problems. Absolutely. I like these little things, little reminders for life. So it looks like we have a full snow moon this month of February. Ooh, that's nice. I really enjoy that. 
Do y'all want a closer look? All right. Huh. The flap of skin below a moose's throat is called a bell or dewlap. Okay. Interesting to know. I love this. So I'm going to do a review of another planner. I did not use this planner last year. I actually gave it to someone to use. Oh, okay. So look, we're in March. There's the March monthly. Take care of your body. It's the only one that you have. That is so important. Definitely. And in March, you know, when the weather is becoming nice and stuff like that, you can go out for walks more often. Definitely a great time to remind people of that. The full worm moon. Oh, that's cool. Recycle flat club soda by using it to water house plants. Oh, that's a good idea. See, waste not, want not. All of the little farmer's almanac stuff you expect so I like the month of March I love clover and March is a great month I really do think it's one of the best months of the year Ooh, April is pretty full pink moon oh yay okay and so this design up here is very beautiful I love the orange and green combination. Just delightful. So, you know, the calendar is pretty much laid out the same way throughout the year. Take several quiet minutes every day to reflect, de-stress, and refocus. Absolutely. That's a wonderful idea. Full flower moon this month. Oh, yes, when flowers are starting to bloom. Yep, absolutely. And I like this bright, kind of muted, sunny design. Apply honey to relieve a canker sore's pain and help it to heal. Who knew that? I didn't. Neat fact to know. Oh, I did not know that either. The space between the eyebrows just above the nose is the glabella. <laughs> so, this year I will be using this and not giving it away. I'll be using this to plan out writing, reading, and my YouTube videos. So, I'm very excited for next year. I've got big plans already. I like June. That is cute. And purple is my favorite color right now. Also, June is my birth month. Give someone your undivided attention. Turn off the cell phone or TV. Right. Agreed. Full strawberry moon. I love strawberries. They're so delicious. Oh, look. Love this old Farmer's Almanac planner. Subscribe to receive one every year. That's neat. Up oh, June, July. So we're coming up on July. <gasps> oh, I love that. I love blueberries. They are so good and they are so good for you. Pay it forward. Buy coffee or tea for the person behind you in line. Oh, that's cute. I make coffee at home, but if I went to a coffee shop, I would do that. Ooh, now we're coming on August. Ooh, that's beautiful. Seek out the good news. That's kind of hard to do because, you know, the news cycle um, depends on bad things happening. But I don't watch the news for that reason. 
If something is important enough, I know I'll hear about it. September. Ooh, watermelons. That's adorable. Work for a cause, not for applause. Right. Um, my days right now, I my cause is taking good care of my Bernie Boops, who came from a former research facility. I want him to have a very good life and a life full of love outside of that place. So that's what I'm working on. And I think that's a pretty good cause. All right. October. When trying new things, accept that at first you might fail. Absolutely. You know, failure is a wonderful lesson. And you have to fail before you truly succeed. So, you know, just let yourself get it out of the way. Learn those lessons. And, you know, you'll be closer to success. Scalded milk will be less likely to stick if it is heated in a pan pre-chilled in cold water. I did not know that. I love October. I love the crisp evenings. You know, the just the feel of the air in October. I really do love that month. And I love Halloween. What do you call a haunting chicken? A poultry geist. <laughs> That's cute. And look at November. That's gorgeous. What flower is that, you guys? Do you know? Can you put that in the comments for me? I like it a lot. National Kindness Day. November 13th, kindness like grain increases by sowing. Yes, that's true. And the final month, December, highlighting some beautiful pink flowers. And it says, studies show that saying thank you can lead to a happier life. New moon, December 19th, getting close to a new year as well. And it looks like this planner has the first few days of January 2026. Can you even imagine that far in advance? But... This planner does have an advanced planner for 2026 with little calendars next to some line stuff so that you can write in what you need to write. Passwords, addresses, important contacts. I really like this planner, you guys. And out of five stars, I think I would give this five stars, you know, the layout for me is great. Uh, the paper quality is here. It's very nice paper. I'm not sure the GSM or anything, but, you know, the pen I use does not bleed through it. And, you know, I like the hard board cover. I love the design. I love the little facts on the weeklies. It's just perfect and it's gonna be a great addition to my year in 2025 so for all those reasons i definitely give it five stars the price point is 15.99 now i ordered this on amazon so free shipping of course but you know on the farmer's almanac website they do also offer this, and I think it's offered in some packages as well that they have. If you're going to go ahead and pick up the Old Farmer's Almanac, I think they have something where you can pick up this as well, along with some other things. But, yes, absolutely, five out of five stars. I would definitely recommend this, especially if you just need one planner 
This is of a size where, you know, you can fit it in a lot of bags and stuff like that. And, you know, it's just great. You have a little space for, you know, if you just need to jot notes or whatnot. A top-notch planner, in my opinion. But that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see some more planner reviews in the coming weeks, make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel because they are also coming up. And I will see you guys again soon. Bye-bye!